What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today I'm taking you guys on another trip to the thrift but today I'm switching it up just a little bit because as you guys know I usually put like a compilation video together where it's basically like two or three days in like five or six different stores basically just a highlight reel full of the thrifting that I do on a daily basis but today I'm just going to hit up a couple stores and it's all going to be one day's worth of footage. So if you guys are interested in these videos make sure that you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but also just wanted to let you guys know i dropped a ton of new consistency tees in a bunch of different colors so if you guys are interested in that make sure that you guys hit that first link in the description but without further ado let's get into it all right y'all so first thrift store of the day came across a few of these high school jerseys and i've sold high school football jerseys in the past the problem is, is that they take a really long time to sell and even though the price wasn't terrible with these only asking four bucks a piece as you guys know i've been finding a lot of heat lately so for me to pick these up and probably wait a few months for these to sell really isn't worth it to me but definitely still um you know if it was maybe a dollar probably would have took a chance to be honest so next to those jerseys came across this uh university of michigan jersey i believe this one was chad henny and I've, I've seen comps for this jersey sell for around 40 to 50 bucks I'm definitely picking that one up and then here was this Notre Dame Adidas football jersey. I think this is more like a practice jersey. I've seen other people have these listed for like 30 to 40 bucks as well. So I'm definitely going to grab both of those up. Uh, next came across this pair of New Balance sneakers. And I've been selling New Balances like crazy lately. I've sold some for a few hundred bucks. Then I sold others for like 30 or 40. This one is closer to that 30 or 40 dollar mark. Probably even closer to 30 or 25 to be honest. So I ended up passing on those shoes. But at the end of the day, not a bad shoe. Uh, next came across this pair of Carhartt boots and I definitely never seen Carhartt boots in person before but overall these seem to be in pretty good condition obvious signs of wear especially within the toe box but for only five bucks for me this was a no-brainer and after checking comps on eBay these were selling for like 50 to 60 bucks in this condition uh, probably closer to 90 to 100 if it was brand new so I'm gonna definitely take a chance on those next up came across this brand new landline phone and I love selling these types of stuff especially when they're brand new inbox because it usually just takes like four or five pictures and like i said since it's brand new i don't have to test it or anything like that and this one should sell for right around 25 to 30 bucks uh maybe closer to 25 bucks honestly next came across this camcorder from sharp and i haven't sold any camcorders from sharp i usually sell jvc or sony handycams uh this one in particular had a ton of resale value the downside to some of these is that sometimes i might test them when i get home and they work fine and then once the buyer gets them you know they might want to do something very specific and then they tell me it's like missing some type of function or missing some type of piece so i usually pass on some of these but for that price it was a no-brainer uh, next came across this garmin gps and i'm not exact i think this is more like a hiking gps or something like that but this one was selling for right around 50 to 60 bucks so for five bucks definitely wanted to take a chance on that one especially since it had the manuals and everything they probably already had the original box as well but they probably tossed that one out uh, next coming across a ton of brand new things in this thrift uh, here are just like some filters for some vacuums only 79 cents for those and those were selling for like 20 and there were some vacuum bags and although it didn't seem like I grabbed those vacuum bags on camera I absolutely picked those up as well probably lot all of those up and sell them for about 20 bucks it was only 50 I think it was like 50 cents a piece uh, here was a pair of shorts that I thought was really dope and I was hoping that they were in my size but as soon as I got closer to them realized that these were 2XL and then once I grabbed the price uh, the, grab the price tag it really didn't matter what size it was because I definitely wasn't going to spend that much money on some shorts um, this particular pair of shorts five or six bucks would have grabbed it up they sell for right around forty dollars next up came across this pair of lululemon shorts and I actually love selling these because I usually sell them for like forty to fifty bucks and they sell really really quickly uh, this pair was expensive as you guys can see but like I just said with those other shorts what really wasn't trying to spend $16.99 on shorts and then once I was just trying to find the size tag I ended up realizing that they had a huge hole in the crotch and that's not something I usually look for when I'm like checking condition so I'm definitely glad I was able to come across that one because that would have definitely been a waste of money so ended up coming across some more shoes because they brought out a new cart and they just had this little pair of Air Force Ones. These were selling for like 30 to 40 bucks as well on eBay. I usually don't pick up kids shoes because they sometimes take a long time to sell. But this pair was pretty clean in my opinion. So figured why not. So ended up back at Goodwill. And this, like I told you guys before, this is all the same day. I usually try to do like 
put together different videos for you guys but this is all just one day of thrifting so as soon as i walked in it looked like somebody probably put this in the front of the store maybe passed on it probably couldn't find the price tag who knows but i came across this to me bag for only 6.49 really good condition so i'm definitely grabbing that one up uh next came across this cleveland indian starter jersey uh, this one in particular probably get maybe 25 to 30 bucks i didn't check any comps on this one but because it was starter and you know it was in really good condition i figured i might as well take a chance on it especially for only 6.99 so as you guys know i've been selling a ton of video games lately and it looks like they just brought out a bunch of new ones i don't know why i put that connect game in the front because i ended up leaving that one but all of the other games except the nba inside and i think i left that arkham knight as well but i grabbed up all of those games just had to keep them in the cart and then once i got to the register i took some out but out of the maybe six or seven that was there i think i only got five of those so as you guys know i've been finding a ton of bow stuff lately came across something else from bows nothing that would sell for a ton of profit but these are the type of stuff i always have to grab up because when sometimes i'll find a bose speaker but it doesn't have the adapter so for only 249 i'm just going to hold on to this one and i'm pretty sure it'll come in good handy uh, eventually it might sit for a couple days a couple weeks but i'm just happy to have it uh, now like i tell you guys all the time i'm trying to like learn different categories and i've been hearing a ton of resellers tell you that they sell plushes so now y'all resellers in trouble because now i'm gonna start selling these plushes this one was brand new comps on ebay were selling for about 30 bucks so i'm gonna definitely grab that one up take a chance on it see how long it takes to sell but i just felt more comfortable because this one was brand new next up came across this pair of ultra running shoes and these were in pretty good condition just some normal signs of wear anytime it comes to running shoes i always try to check the bottom and just make sure that it's not completely uh just make sure that the thread is still pretty good and I always make sure that there's no tears by the heel area, but this pair in particular, based on condition, probably like 40 to 50 bucks. Uh, next came across this pair of Air Force One Highs. Uh, downside to these is that they were pretty dirty, but they also didn't have any other straps. And I know that they're supposed to be a pretty like, things like two or three different straps with that shoe. So for twelve seventy nine, I ended up putting that one right back. And they even had another colorway of that same shoe, but it was the same thing. It just had some, it was missing the straps as well. So checking out the boots and some of these shoes. And I was surprised that these shoes were actually made by Aldo because I usually don't sell that brand, mainly because the quality just really isn't there but i ended up passing on those anyway and came across this pair of belleville boots and i've sold this pair of boots in the past uh the black colorway always sells better than like the tan suede ones the black one should sell for right around 60 to 70 in this condition if it was in better condition i probably would have got a hundred dollars all day long but like i said for 15 bucks with the 20 percent off i'll grab those all day long uh, next up came across this Amari Stoudemire jersey and Stoudemire was the man when he was playing with the Knicks especially while he was healthy so I figured this might be a good jersey to pick up but once I turned it around it was just way too many like telltale signs that this jersey was fake um the tags as you guys can see that adidas tag just looks very very funny to me and then of course the jump the not the jump man but the NBA logo looked terrible on there and the the jock tag itself didn't look didn't look that bad like if you really didn't know about jerseys that jock tag could probably fool you but just the nba sign by itself was more than enough for me to pass on that one so just be careful out there when you guys are thrifting next up came across this ibm keyboard and this one was in really good condition and i've usually been selling keyboards anywhere between like 40 to 50 bucks especially this one in particular probably get closer to 40 bucks for this one but for only 549 definitely a decent amount of profit for me to want to take a chance on this all right y'all that's all i have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button it definitely helps the channel grow i'm definitely trying to hit 20k subscribers really really soon and also like i said before in the video if you guys are interested in the consistency tees hit that first link in the description below and also as you guys been asking a ton of questions about that outro song that always comes at the end of my videos i'm going to be putting an amazon affiliate link where you guys can sign up for amazon music for a free trial uh just sign up for the free trial using my link definitely will help the channel grow as well that way you guys can access the full song without any edits or anything like that but like i told you guys before i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace for the winner because you felt like you was losing only for the winner blue just to keep from cooling like only for the winner only for the winner only for the winner boy my heart is cold and i'm too cool to sweat it i should have never offered it I'm tight and now I'm